Okay, then Mr. Speaking Robinson the style, for the style the now. We back at you. And be sure to speak loudly and clearly into the microphone so your attorneys can hear you. And please raise your right hand to be sworn. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can put your hand down and again pull up that microphone closer to his mouth. Okay. First thing first, see this is what I say. We get into such a situation and do our own kind dirty. We do our own kind so dirty. But man, I didn't have my fair chance, um my fair times and goddamn appearances in court. I never said your honor. I never said ma'am. I never said sir. I never have done that. And I was not even facing nothing that serious. So if I was facing multiple um, first degree murders, I wouldn't give a fuck about being respectful and calling the bitch a ma'am. Now if he got... He said... Jacksonville rapper Queso testifies that by here and tells us he has no income slash money. Do you? Is this why you're trying to get bond? Because you don't got money? So if you tell them that you don't have money at your bond, then you'll get a bond? Maybe so. Maybe it's a reverse psychology thing. So maybe if they think you don't have no money, they give you a bond. They don't think you're going to get out. But in reality, you already know that your homie young and ace will get you out. So maybe it's smart. But the whole thing is, what the fuck you call her a man for? Are, this is, is this how you lead up trying to get um, a bond to be able to get out and fight your case from the outside? Let's see. All right, you may proceed, Ms. Kowals. Mr. Robinson, could you state your name for the record, please? Hakeem Armani Robinson. And how old are you? 23. Okay, I'm going to... This nigga 23 and finna face the rest of his life in jail in front of a whole bunch of white people and goddamn house niggas that don't give a fuck about that nigga. If you was willing to goddamn kill and maim all of these young brothers or do shit to certain niggas out here in the street, bro, when the police came to pick your ass up, bro, why you just shoot out with the police? Because you thought you had a fighting chance to win this shit? Is this one niggas really think they go back to their sentimental value? That's what I say. Niggas who goddamn do shit and say, man, I might be able to beat it so then I ain't gonna crash out and just have the police kill me or shoot it out with the police. No, that's some sentimental shit, bro. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? No, crash all the way out, nigga. Go all the way out, yeah. Run your ass all the way into the tree, nigga, yeah. Stop playing, nigga. No, swim your ass all the way to the middle of the ocean, cuz, and do that shit, boy. You will already jump off the diving board, nigga. Keep swimming now, nigga. Don't stop now. What the fuck you stopping for? I don't understand that, boy. Niggas go out here and kill other young niggas, cuz, and then. Goddamn, go to jail and just be on a pacifier. I ask you some questions right now about what it is that you have in your possession in terms of tangible assets and money, okay? Man, if you don't pay attention to some of my videos, and like I said, shout out to the people that been watching my, um, <clears throat> majority of my videos. I'm not saying I want people to watch all my videos, no, but at least some of the other Topics I be talking about is more tangible information. You heard what you said. You heard what this judge said. Do you have any tangible resources or um, income? Most niggas don't got no nothing tangible. You motherfuckers don't even know what the fuck that mean. That's something that is goddamn worth value if you need to trade it in or put it up towards something else. Tangible assets, land, resources, businesses, ownership. This nigga don't got own shit. So all the money that you got, was running through, doing all this goofy ass shit, killing people, getting paid for it, whatever the fuck allegedly, and you ain't got, you ain't starred nothing. You only 23 years old, so of course, you ain't smart enough, but you was smart enough to go and goddamn snake and kill niggas though, huh? You was that smart, huh? But you wasn't smart enough to goddamn set up you, uh, your own insurance if something happened to you on the back end of you doing all this dumb ass shit. What you thought Young and Ace was going to be able to be there at the forefront with your ass? He can't be in, um, in the, like, the same setting with you and, like, try to be your motherfucker, the one that's going to, your partner in crime? No, he got an actual career that he got to goddamn sustain. <coughs> okay. Do you have a checking account? Uh... I don't know what a checking account is. Okay, do you have any bank accounts? If this nigga playing, shout out. This nigga said he don't even know what a checking account is. I don't think he playing. 
He probably know what a checking account is, but he never has no deposits from anything. He don't have anything to being deposited. So why would he have a checking account? This nigga probably only got a goddamn chime. This don't got chime banking. All these rappers, motherfucker, goddamn, put on a pedestal. These niggas don't even have the proper documentation if they go to jail to be able to get their own ass out of jail with the proper goddamn documentation, man. That's all it takes for real. If you would have had enough tangible resources where they felt like you uh, the shit that you got is more valuable than you, then they would have gave you a bond. You know why? Because if you go and run, they're going to take all your shit. But when you don't got shit, I was like, oh, you, we got you then. Because you only got no tangible resources that we can leverage over you to, um, for us to feel like you won't go on the run. Because you got so much tangible shit or so much shit to lose. You don't have shit to lose. You're 23 years old, bro. You laughed it off talking about you don't really know what a checking account is. You know what a checking account is. You just know that you don't have any deposits into a bank account. Because you, man, yeah. I have a bank account. How much money do you collectively have in your bank accounts? Uh, I don't know. How much money do you collectively have in your bank accounts? As far as you can remember, because I know you've been incarcerated for a long time. Well, before I got That's sad. See, this is why the judges, see, this is why I would never call the bitch a ma'am in the first fucking first place. She's like, yeah, I know you've been locked up a long time. Damn. That's why you talk to people now? So you got to re, you got to goddamn remind the motherfucker that they've been locked up for a long time. So you might not even remember your own information as far as, far as the outside world. Ain't that sad? Nigga said he got a bank account, but don't got a checking account. How the fuck you got a bank account with no checking account though? Nigga, every bank account got a checking account, nigga. Well, you just have a savings account? That's still a bank account. What is a checking account? Still a banking account. So you can't have a bank account without having a checking account. Doesn't matter if you're not getting deposits to the fucking checking account. You still have a checking account though. Understand what we be saying. We getting ourselves into situations where we don't know shit about the fucking system. Who go out and do illegal shit and don't know about the legal system? Illegal, legal. Illegal, legal. Heads, tails. One dollar, two dollar. Niggas know the difference between one dollar and two dollar, but niggas don't know the difference between goddamn illegal goddamn shit and legal goddamn documentation that you need to be able to get yourself out of certain situation. Stop getting your ass into certain situations that your ass ain't gonna get out of. And know why? You gonna bend over back and let these niggas shock you and do all this shit when you didn't went out and goddamn ended young niggas' lives for petty beefs and shit. Come on, man. Oh, that had like a thousand dollars. Okay. Would you say approximately no more than a thousand? No. Okay. So anything, any other bank accounts that you have any money in? If it's sad. No. Do you own any real property? And by that I mean land, houses, buildings? No. Am I, man? Please, I'm like I said, I appreciate everybody getting my kudos, boy. Before this lady just said this shit, nigga, I explained to y'all what the fuck tangible items is. She just re goddamn repeated everything I just said before I ever even watched this shit. I don't think y'all heard it. No. Do you own any real property? And by that I mean land, houses, buildings? No. Do you own any cars? Um, well, I, I, own, I had a um, car, but well, I don't own a car anymore. Okay, so you don't possess any cars right now? No. <laughs> and This boy don't have anything to his name. This boy don't have anything to his name, man. But you went out and perpetuated the cycle of goddamn black on black crime. For what? So you can rap about it, nigga? And talk about you queso cheese, nigga? Nigga, they finna melt your ass in this bitch like some queso cheese, nigga. So you better be, you better hope your motherfucker, you better hope your shit together, boy. Because they finna melt your ass down. They finna melt your ass. They finna make an example out your motherfucking ass, cuz. Talk about queso cheese. Oh, okay. Nigga don't even own nothing. I mean... <laughs> I, I right now don't have any other. You don't own a boat, nothing else like that. See, I told you they trying to work with him to get him out of jail. She said he don't own a boat. This is so funny. Me and my homie just bought a boat last year. 
goddamn um a little fishing boat. It was just a little John boat, little tracker. You know what I mean? Nothing major. But simple fact is that you still got represent, um, documentation that you own something. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. To let them know that you is a responsible or adequate citizen to this society. You don't own anything. Only thing you owned was guns, nigga. That's the only thing you fucking owned and them goddamn designer clothes. That's the only thing your ass owned was guns and clothes. And then you let it, then you, again, obviously, young and were goddamn a, obviously able to give you a car that, this, where you can quote unquote say is your car. And as soon as you all go to jail, you, well, that car going back to the same place it was from. Young and Ace has, obviously. No. No. This right here is okay. sad. And so, what we have established at this point is financially, what you have in your possession is $1,000. That ain't that no reasonable. I didn't that. You can take off your mask if you need to. Just it's, it's not there anymore either. Like I used it in order for me to help in jail. Okay. Are you currently employed? Um, signed to a label. But you're not currently working, are you? No. How long have you been incarcerated? A year and a half. Are you allowed to work while you're incarcerated? No. How much money does it cost for you to make phone calls? It's different prices. I don't call anyone in Jacksonville, so it'd be about five, seven dollars. So if you, you even though you don't have any money coming in, you have to rely on other people to put money on your phone. Yes. Okay, you and I don't have any other questions at this time. All right, any cross on that limited financial issue? And Mr. Atkinson, any from you? I suppose briefly, Mr. Robinson, how much money do you think that you have spent on jail calls and tablet visits since December? Uh, well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I mean, would it surprise you if it were over a thousand dollars? No, it wouldn't surprise me. It's over a thousand dollars. Okay. And your testimony is that you don't call any 904 numbers from the jail? No, I said I don't. Well, I don't remember what I said. I said I usually don't do. Not really. I said not really, I think. How many 904 numbers do you think that you've called in the last week? No objection outside the scope of direct judge. No, I'll overrule. He said he didn't. Now they finna fry your ass, boy. Now they got caught you lying about the goddamn people that you calling around Jacksonville, you don't think they got the fucking transcripts on them calls, nigga? They know every fucking number you can call, boy. You don't think they pulling that shit up? You say, for what? You don't know, nigga. You don't know. Because you don't know the legal system, nigga. And I can't even tell you that because I don't even know goddamn that part of why they would have the transcripts uh, of the, your phone call unless they just goddamn monitor your phone call to see what you're talking about. So obviously, maybe I do know that. <coughs> so this is the whole point. Nigga, you just lie and say, no, I don't make no 904 calls in Jacksonville, nigga. So all my calls are basically out of town, um, out of town calls, so they cost a little more. And then they got the transcripts and they're looking at them talking about, so how many phone calls did you think you didn't make in the last week to 904? And they looking at this guy, like, hold on, this nigga lying. You didn't make multiple calls to 904 numbers within the last week. And now you at court and you talking about you ain't made, you don't make no 904 calls. Where is your lawyer at? Why are you testifying on your own behalf where the fuck is your lawyer so you can't you say he couldn't have no legal representation during this time right here that's a fucking lie do you not even have a lawyer my guy do you have a public defender what do you have you did all of this shit you went out and killed niggas that were 14 15 16 years old cause just to go here and have these niggas railroad your ass in front of goddamn send your ass up the road nigga and you don't got shit to goddamn claim for yourself you don't got shit to put up for yourself to be free in a bond court you need to have tangible items like i said my nigga so they have a feel like they got something hanging over your head where they feel like if they let you do bond out you will not run off fuck out of here don't call any 904 numbers from the jail no i said i don't well i don't remember what i said i said i usually don't do not really I said not really, I think. How many 
904 numbers do you think that you've called in the last week? Objection outside the scope of direct judge. No, I'll overrule. He said he didn't call anyone in Jacksonville, so he made that answer. Exactly. The state can cross on that. Exactly. Where's your representation at, bro? So what was the question? Well, I do call the 904 number, but they don't live in Jacksonville. I call 904 number, but they're not in Jacksonville. Like, they don't live in Jacksonville. Like, my mom, I call her every day. She's got a 904 number, but she don't live in Jacksonville. Right, okay. She lives in Georgia, right? Yeah. And I think your siblings live out of status yeah, as well? Like, really, yeah. Okay. 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 I don't have any other questions. Okay, thank you. See, this is the sad part, man. I hate seeing young niggas being railroaded by the system, even though the system is already meant to fuck us from behind. And when you get in a situation like this, he's the only person I call my mother and my siblings and shit. You see how humble and goddamn this down and vibration and energy he feel um, sound like right now. This ain't the same nigga that was yelling in them rap videos talking about nigga yes yeah, queso nigga queso cheese nigga I melt anybody nigga over they nacho. No, it ain't that no more. This nigga humble now. This nigga goddamn looking at his life finna flash before his fucking eyes and he ain't even seen what the fuck life is yet. Man, we need to pay attention to the shit that we indulge in ourselves in, the activities that we um, place ourselves in, man. Because when we get in situations like these and we don't actually know no better, these people gonna make a, they gonna make a mockery out your ass, boy. They can say the most educated shit, but be belittling you the whole fucking time. And niggas be so stupid, they don't even understand that. She asked that if he don't own any cars or anything, then went back and asked him do he own a boat. Bitch, if he don't own a goddamn car or no other land or no business, he don't, he don't own a boat. Niggas don't go fishing. These niggas go op hunting. That's the fishing. That's a new fishing. Niggas don't go fishing. Niggas don't go out outside as far as... Outside in the dirt, motherfucker. Outside in nature, doing real man shit, nigga, getting physically dirty, not going out, put dressing up in all black with mask on and shit, with switches going out to shoot niggas and think they actually goddamn marksmen, they actually outdoorsmen and shit, nigga. Nah, boy, it's been real. TV the star for the star, nah, man, we gone.